Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat some barbecue flavoured pop chips. Now, I'll be honest, I've already had some before out of this packet, um, but I can't remember. It was a while ago since I last had some. I know I think I like them. And um, now, although it says chips, they are in fact sort of crisps, okay? Now, I say it for a reason, because over here in Britain, what we call um, crisps, Americans call chips, call potato chips, okay? And what we call chips are like French fries, okay? And it says here, popped, not fried. So, what they mean by this, I've no idea. I didn't understand it when I saw them, but there you go. So, it says barbecue, and it's got some um, health uh, health guidance um, for, um, information here as to how healthy the food is. I'm not talking about whether it's off or made badly, but in terms of, you know, how fat it, fattening the food is and how much salt is in it, sugar and things like that, okay? And this is all yellow. And the reason for that means it's average. So in other words, it's neither very good nor very bad. Okay. Now if I open it up, inside you'll see it's got the potato. Now these are what they call the potato chips. There's 17 grams. A lot of the um, crisp packets these days they don't put a lot in. I think. It's sadly one of the latest gimmicks of making packets smaller and smaller and hoping you don't notice. Um, these are sort of curved, so they're not like a normal crisp, but like they're actually curved inwards, one way or another. It's almost like a mask, if you like, and it's not just a one off, they're all like it, so they're all very much like a sort of mask. Well, see, one side is like, I'm, probably, I'm not probably making a lot of sense here, but it's like it's curved inwards almost, like, you almost like you can put it on your face, but you can't, you know? So it's curved one way. Um, I'll see if there's any more, like this one's a bit more obvious to see. You can see it's sort of curved. This side is like got a lot more in than this. So if I go I think there you get the idea. Okay. Anyway, enough time wasting. I'm not gonna actually eat one, so well nothing by by perfect in date, so if you're dating November twenty twenty three Like a lot of my food is perfectly in date, okay? So it's very, very crunchy, more than normal crisp. And you actually start to chew one of them, it does make a lot of noise in your mouth. They are quite thick, so if you like, um, Thin crisp, which break easily and melt in your mouth, these aren't quite so much the thing, a lot more stiff. You can taste the barbecue flavour on them. I think personally I prefer the um, barbecue flavour of the Transformer snack ones. I mean, it might be okay if you've got better teeth than I have, but if I haven't got the best teeth in the world, I don't really like the stiffness of it so much, that's what I dislike, but there you go. But the actual flavour itself, when you actually taste the flavour, the barbecue flavour is very good. So, what's the blurb on the back? Well, on the actual 
packing the five pack on the actual main packaging of the five pack before you actually get the individual packs inside. Um, it says sweet and sparse dance a tangy taste for tango. That gives you some details about what's in it. And also says it's suitable for vegans. So this is interesting. I don't know if normal crisps are. I whenever I've seen normal crisps, they're normally marketed as for vegetarians rather than vegans. But never mind. Um. So I'll get. I'll be fair. Rather than the extreme crunchiness of this, um, this is vegan food which does taste okay. This isn't food which tastes absolutely disgusting, which tries to be something it isn't, okay? Yeah, but ever I've tried vegan food, often by accident, I didn't realise it was vegan food so I got it, because it, it, it was cheap. Um, often, um, you will find that... Um, it tastes horrible because it's trying to be something it isn't and never will be. Like it's trying to be a beef burger, but it isn't at all. Something like that. Or it's trying to be a a scotch egg, but it's actually using peas to taste like an egg. And no, I'm not joking. Um, things that it will never be. On here, it says something like. The hundred. I've got all the on here as well. The hundred. This is just a one-off, I think. Official team partner. This has something to do with cricket. It says discover cricket. So, what it has to do with it, I've no idea what that is, but I didn't get round to looking at it. Um. This is a barbecue flavour, but apparently it also tells you can buy a sour cream version. They're giving some advertising there for their sour cream version. Um, and it says, this is a no-fry zone. Boiling in oil used to be something you did to your enemies. But crisp makers do it to potatoes. We pop, not fry, for a tasty, light, little light and crunchy number. Because better for you doesn't have to be boring. So grab a handful and live life to the full. Because life is what you make of it. So why not make it pop? And that's all the blurb. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, as I said, I think the idea is if they're oven baked or something like that or whatever they do, they're meant to be healthier, but... I'm just left out, make them less crunchy, that's all. And I have occasionally tried oven baked ones like this. Or something similar. They use a bit to gift for me. And I prefer even if it's not quite so good for you, I prefer the soft, you know, um right crisps, you know, normal ones, you know. In terms of how easy they are to actually eat. But I've said this far too much. No, the, the flavours begin to... Um, become more apparent now. And that's what you said, I like the barbecue flavour of it. But if it wasn't for these extreme unnecessary crunchiness, which I think is not really what you expect from crisps, um, I would definitely recommend them. The taste is good, but I think the crunchiness sort of lets it down. We haven't got very good teeth. I've nearly finished the packet now. Not many more left. Um. So, I've just got one bag left at the time, and it's empty. I'm 
and got these not because I actually um thought they were um they were cheaper, but because I thought it would be different and something to share with you guys. This is the last one. Looking in there. Um, this is the last top chip. And this is made by KP Snacks, so I didn't initially notice the brand name on it, it wasn't obvious, but. And um, I haven't done any KP of his branding, so you have to look hard to see the um mm. and so it's distributed by Tato Snacks, so maybe um KP are just a distributor. It may be KP are just a distributor of it, but um I don't remember, I'm going to say distributed by Taco Snacks, I have no idea, I don't understand it, because in the past we used to have KP food, um, I haven't seen it for a while, but you know, my taste would change over the years, and I think they used to have some sort of peanut type things, but I could be wrong, it's a long time ago that I saw KP stuff, um, or got it, to my knowledge, and um, it used to have KP, and you know, they're a well known brand, and of stuff and um, you know you would normally see their branding on anything they did so I'm so, the only reason I noticed is because it says KP snacks and it mentions the email the mail and it says KP snacks so if you want to write a letter to them you have to um, write to them in um, Britain or something, even though it says distributed by Tato Snacks Island. I don't understand, it's really strange, but there you go. The two different company names. Um, but anyway, I've no idea. Anyway, guys, um, a, me eating a packet of barbecue flavoured pop chips. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye!